philosophy in itself, isn't it? I know. Like any part of life, whatever you, whatever you focus on is what you're going to get. You never get what you want, but you'll always get what you focus on. So people that focus on negative things tend to sometimes attract negativity into their life. And that's kind of weird, but it's true. Uh, is it true all the time? Maybe not. I'm sure there's some luck involved. I'm sure there's a bit of it, you know, a bit of this and a bit of that happening. Coming back to our kata, improving the kata uh, by just taking that little chunk and just working on it and then just continuing to say to yourself, alright, for the next 10, I'm going to push out to the next level and go hard. And then have a break, alright? Next 10, just a little bit more, just a bit more, yeah? And you know what, after 30 or 40 or 50 repetitions, you might be feeling a little like, wow, you know, that's, that's, uh, that was good, I feel a bit better now. Because you're pushing yourself, alright? When we push ourselves, we expand. We grow and develop. It's a simple concept, but that's that's it. It's no different for us. Hey, you guys might have heard that, you know, at uh, you know leadership conferences and seminars, and you might have read it in books and heard it on whatever. But it's just as true for us. And that's the that's the essence. That's that's what we we should be focusing on the the other values of training. What does team, what does training really do for me more than just you know improving the quality of my growth? The, you know, the strength within my body. Yeah? I hope it's Okay. okay. Um, any questions on that? Hold on. No? Alright, so let's let's now let's just go back into the training. We've just we've done this. Alright, obviously we can I can spend another half an hour and you can get it it's better. But I think it's more important that you understand the psychology or the philosophy behind it and you can just take it back to your class. Okay. Take it back to your, to your own training, when you train and also how to develop and improve and equip your students with, with more skills, with a better skill set, and, okay. and, and strategies to improve themselves. Yes? Okay. Um, you see, in a class, if we just did repetition for an hour and a half, you would get bored, right? And if I did it every week for an hour and a half, it wouldn't take too long before that boredom would turn into, you're not being here anymore. Boredom equals quick, right? But, if I spend some time explaining the reason and what the benefits will be and how it helps you, in, you know, in your brain, then the boredom would have been washed away by that sense of understanding. You yeah, understand what you're saying, and this is the reason why it's repetition. And this is where a lot of us, a lot of, um, whether it's karate, whether it's the gym, whether it's anything, okay, retention is a big thing, is that? A lot of people start something and a lot of people stop. Okay, not as many people stick to, to one thing, stick to it, you know what I mean? Like, so that they can gain all the, all the benefits that it has to offer. And it's repetition that kills things off. And it's just a lack of understanding. So for ourselves, for the people that we might be teaching, the more they understand about the why, why we do this, and how it's good and what it's good for, the better. Does that make sense? Okay. This may not apply to us as individuals, you know, this might apply to us as individuals, but also I'm talking in terms of for you guys that are teaching, because we know it's an important thing. You know? And I'll tell you why it's important, because um, have you heard of Virgin Gym? Is that over here yet? Virgin Gym? You've heard of Virgin Atlantic, and you know Richard Branson, you know that everything it touches just turns to gold, right? He's now got Virgin Health Class, right? Virgin Hacking is called. And there's one around the corner that I'll, I'll, I'll go to. And this isn't a gym, it's not like old school Rocky style, you know, you get in there, smell the sweat, it's not like that. You walk in there, it's like, like you walk into, <laughs> you walk into like, uh, oh my god, it's like a day spa. Okay, and it's just incredible, and they've got a hundred million classes a week, and they've got personal trainers that are free. And it's not overly expensive, it's not like it's a hundred dollars a day to be there, but it's just the most, you know what I mean, at the top end of its game. And I'm just thinking, this place is amazing. And they must have one of those squirting members. But here's what I found out a few months ago. Talking to one of their trainers, and they said to us, they, I think they, they recruit 300 members a week into the gym. A week or a month? No. Sorry, it might be a month, sorry. 300 members a month, but they lose 200. So you know what, mate? You know, you, and you guys understand that GKR, like right, all karate clubs, all, all sports or activities, there's always this issue of recruiting and, you know, retention and that. And whether it's sport, business, you know, whether it's tennis, whether it's kids footy on the weekend, it's everywhere. But when I heard about it in the third and it just made me think, wow, you know, 
it's kind of everywhere. Yeah. Right? Because it just surprised me that they could lose 200 members a month. Right? You know, once you walk in, you want to stay there forever. <laughs> you know, it's like, excuse me, it's 10.30, we've closed. You know, you've been here since 6am. You know what I mean? You've used everything five times. Get out. Hey? Hey, hey. Repetition is the key. Yeah. Repetition is the key. Repetition is the mother of skill. Repetition also is the mother of boredom. <laughs> Alright, so it's the purpose. So everything you do must have a deep seat or, or a desire or purpose attached to it. Otherwise, you will lose, you will lose focus. You will lose commitment. Does that make sense? Amen. And why am I telling you this? Well, because sometimes we do activity in karate and then it kind of teaches us another lesson. And I guess this is where that's kind of, that's where I'm coming from now. Right? You will go through the stages in your journey where you will get bored, you will feel like you're not improving, and you'll have a decision to make. Do I stay or do I go? But all I can tell you is that when, when you're at that level, it's not the time to decide whether you should stay or go. When you don't feel like going to training, when you don't feel like improving, there's only one decision to make. And that is, get the gear on and go to the class. Okay. Act, you know, stay active. You know what I mean? Action. Get into it. Because as you know, how many of you gone to a class not feeling like, not really feeling like, because it's raining outside and it's cold, but within five, ten minutes of in the class, yeah, so I'm thinking, oh, right, I'm glad I came. Hey? Okay. 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 I'm sure this class is all you think, you know what, I was looking forward to tonight, but man, <laughs> that guy, all those push-ups, forget it. <laughs> I'm already complaining that. By the way, any complaints that you want from today's class, just direct them to me. I'll make sure they get to it that it gets to it, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 